ho, 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 ho. Let's go down the list and find out who's nice and who's naughty in a very appropriate and family-friendly sense. Well, boy, I've got a long list, but you know what? I'm just gonna go into here right now and just get this over with, as I'm sure it'll just be got over with. Also, it's the... not the holy hand grenade at all. It's an egg. Never nobody mind. All right. And then, and then I'll go down the list. Okay, sound good? Great. F fanciful. Damn fanciful. All right, you. Where's your trail of dust that I can inhale and cough in a very family appropriate sense? Oh, I love doing that, man. It's just like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's coughing in a family appropriate sense, apparently. What is going on here, man? It's just like, you just gotta barge right on into the back room and there you go, man. It's a book. Awesome. Uh, hmm. September 17th. My fortunes have taken a turn for the better today. I took a delivery of old books from the estate of the destitute Lord Von Teague. And what should I find among the dusty old tomes but the original Codex of Alavash? I could scarce believe it. Oh, if Von Teague had only known its value, his estate would no longer be in jeopardy. Yet his loss is my gain, so thank the builder for the ignorance of the nobles. I must contact Balfour at once. 18th. Balfour has expressed an interest in the Codex. This is it. The value of this book is such that I can undoubtedly set any price I choose. When I have money, oh, the possibilities, I shall acquire a nice manor house in the countryside, hold lavish balls for the nobility, and be the talk of the town. No longer will I be the object of scorn. Things are looking up for Rupert J. Winterbottom. 19th. Confound that scoundrel Balfour. He tries to swindle me, and his uncouth manner is most unbecoming. His covetousness, as he inspected the Codex, was grossly obvious. I expect a certain amount of negotiation with matters such as these, but the price he is willing to pay is so low as to be outright laughable. I will give him a couple of days to reconsider his folly, and then contact one of the other museums. 22nd. It's an outrage! It's a scandal! The unthinkable has happened! The Codex has been stolen! Whoever is behind this will regret ever being born! I didn't work my whole life to have this opportunity spoiled by a common thief! Luckily for me, my acquisition of various old tomes over the years has given me a number of contacts in the seedy underworld of this hateful city. I will find who has done this, and they will be very, very sorry! 23rd. Success. I have discovered that the Codex was stolen by an independent thief by the name of Lecce. Time to get my old sword down from the attic. The wretch was most talkative before his end. I might have known he was hired by none other than my old enemy, Spirion. My hands are shaking as I write. I must wash the blood off before I pay Mr. Spirion a visit. 24th. That's the last time Spirion ever crosses me. I took a quite personal delight from the stupefied look upon his face as I cut out his guts. Irritatingly, the fiend had already sold the Codex to Balfour, no doubt for considerably less than the book's worth. Clearly Balfour is a man of little scruples to deal in property he knows to be stolen. He too deserves a visit from my blade. I will recover the Codex at any cost. 25th. All is put right again. Balfour made a most agreeable bubbling sound as I cut him down. The codex was right there in his office. It is in my possession again. I will take no more chances with it. I have taken it to the bank and stored it in my vault. Ah, I hardly imagine anyone could break in there, what with their security systems, but just in case I change the vault access code to the date I first received the codex. Oh, wait. September 17th. Oh, no, oh. Oh. Okay. Today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking it would include the year or something, but 0917. Fair enough. Fair enough. As well as pointing you to the codex, this journal will be enough evidence to see that justice is done. Leave it on Detective Jacob's desk in the watch station. Have I not been to the watch station then? Huh. That's funny. Uh oh. Okay. 0917. Sever your leg, please. <laughs> Sever your leg, please, sir. Where's a wash station? Oh, it's there. Oh, right. It's that one. Huh. Of course. Well, then, maybe it'll get me a mask. I don't know. It's, you know, it's an optional objective. <laughs> and <laughs> maybe it'll get me a mask. Um, no. Some kind of, uh, some kind of eeprom around that goes eep. 
Um, no. Oh, right, 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 right. Jacob's right. Okay, I know where I'm going in. Although, I doubt if I'll get anybody walking up into my face giving me nothing for it, but hey. Let's see here. Wait a minute. It's the guy way over here, isn't it? The guy with the normal name and the silly hat and the amazing shoes. All right. Plump to plump to plump to plump. Sure do love this inventory. I bet another mask is, is with this bell ringing thing in the Hammer Cathedral place. Okay, so it's just, you know, objective complete, no problem. A mask doesn't mysteriously wall into existence, so never mind that. Also, at no point in here does it say anything about the number five. <laughs> the most brazen of magpies snatched it from your fingers, and then, you know, a dozen more appeared. A dozen. Like, what am? Where am I even getting it, man? I'm at a loss to explain. Maybe, maybe I've played a mission recently where there were five things, but I don't even think so. So, I don't know, man. Anyways, yes, there's. There's 13, 12 plus the original one, and I, I haven't been properly keeping track of the ones I've gotten, but hey, that brings me to the last. <laughs> okay, so around here where the urinating guard was, apparently there's a hard nest now. I got one, I got the one up there already, but let me think about and consider my options here. I've already gotten to that window. Where else could I go? Oh, wait. This is a fox mask and you can't get it. So I guess I I did get given a third mask. Where the hell? Oh, well. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. See something. Oh, no. That's just that room. Wait! It's right there. Just come out the window and I saw it right there. Oh, okay. There we go. It's too bad I can't keep a count of these because they're just loot. But hey, also these are really huge to be on a necklace, you know. Hence the creeping crystal reference. But okay, okay, so I guess that's that one. <laughs> boy. Oh boy, you. You get a special treat today, naughty person. Thank you. Okay, so apparently I missed some stuff on the shelf here. I don't know. Or did I? Or... Or did I? Did I really? No. Behind the windowsill? What? What are you ta- Wait. Oh! Oh. Okay. Oh, but I already have my loot call, don't I? <laughs> Still, this winds me up not so very far from where I'm going next. So... Kick. Awesome. Next up... The spooky old graveyard, which is like where well, also this is totally a footbridge. Let's get some romantic action going up on here with the footbridge. It's a bridge for foots, so you know it's amazing. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to go on these boards or something. Not sure about that. I think I already did, but hey. Some loot and maybe a nest or both. I'm not sure how to interpret what I've heard today. <gasps> Run along the hydro. Oh, really? Really? Wait. <laughs> okay. I feel like I've gotten 20 of these so far, but. No, I guess not. Alright. And I think. Maybe the. Oh! What? Hmm. What may be. <laughs> Dang it. What may be the last thing? On the list, because I guess there wasn't as much as I thought. Mm. Come on, man. Come yeah, okay. Any. <laughs> Fine. But well, maybe the final thing on the list, if it exists. Uh... Oh, hey, guys. It's a new part of the cathedral. By new, I mean, like, what the hell's that guy doing there? Also, I mean, I didn't get that piece of loot, so it's freaking incredible. Ah. Uh. Down, 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 down into hell. You're going to hell because you made one mistake. That's what your religion teaches, right? Huh. Oh, also, I, yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> well, well, that wasn't what I meant by, you know, last thing on the list, but, but hey. 
maybe we'll come across what I meant at some point here. Let's see. Bookshelves, 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 bookshelves. Bookshelves. Here's some bookshelves. Let's see if I can find something hilarious up in here. Hoop. De shoop. Oh, all right. Oh, and I forgot this as well, so. Hey, that's a pop culture reference. Certain of it. And I'm the expert at knowing about that. Man, maybe... Maybe I read it already or it doesn't exist. What? Come on, man. Wait! This room! Ah! Oh, I missed another stairway. Incroyable. <laughs> well, there's a whole bunch of readables here. I don't know about a bookshelf or nothing, but... Oh, oh, is it this? Hammerite Compendium of Percepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 27. And the Builder said, Thou canst not touch this, and lo, didst the brothers stop for twas <laughs> the hammer. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. That was worth it. Okay, okay. But <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. But seriously, but seriously. Now that we're done having fun, let's go back to being incredibly serious and having no amusement go on whatsoever. Except, except, if I may climb even further, I want to see if I can stuff these cotton wool bugs, or whatever you call them. God, I don't read Python scripts, do I? Especially not naughty ones. And see if I can stuff them into the bells or whatnot. All right. All right. So, if I were to climb, should... Ah, uh, you see? That's what I'm talking about. So now at least, I can ring them without fear. Not that I have anything to fear anymore anyway, because... <laughs> yeah, no. Also, I guess you could just put them there anyway, but... Again, I mean, put them there again. Also, I only have one of these. Now... No, I still only have one of them. No. But the working hours, it, whatever it said, the hours of the day. No! Oh. Fuh. And that Kleenex to be laid waste utterly. Yeah. Oh, and I've still got one left for some reason. Interesting. Oh, make it full the day's hours! The day. Oh, so it's 24. I, I just read between the lines and figured he meant. You know, work hours of the day, the day's hours of work. But no, I guess it's 24 freaking hours, so hey, let's do it right now. Let's see what the treasure is. Probably some sort of uh, ab abber. Sounds good to me. And undoubtedly, you all have had incredible patience with me while I figure out the silly stuff. So, I guess I want like 24 hours or something, and so I have to figure out what I got. I got nine. I got minus five, I got minus eleven, and then I got seven. So... Right, then. Let me just do it the stupid way, where I just sort of... add a bunch of stuff all up the place until I get it, because math is hard. <laughs> and when I inevitably fail, I'll, uh... I'll, uh, you know, inevitably fail. Yeah. Now it's 23. See now what I mean? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go minus the five, and then like maybe add like nine again, and then minus. Let's see. This is this is the joke, funny. It's hilarious. And then and then I'm, I'm I'm back to that again because what? Okay, so after some scribbling on an actual sheet of paper here, I finally figured out actually there's maybe multiple ways to do it, but it's actually quite silly. Which number do I want here? It's quite silly the way I figured it out here. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, and then, uh, and then, uh, one over here. Oh. <laughs> so, yes. Fairly simple. Awesome. Oh, it is a bronze man. Oh. Awesome. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, I know what to do with these. Discover the secret of these treatment. But I already have. Well. 
door! Mostly, anyway. There is one cool looking evil chest with the evil but way, 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 way better style vocals. Okay. Also, I'm um, just remembering those two doors in the upper floor of like Madame What's Her Face's estate there. That estate there, which. What the hell? And also that other room, that red room, where you make a mold-type device that I just fell off and refused to go in again. I'm remembering that, too! But I haven't been to the courthouse yet, so that's something to look forward to. However, maybe I can just simply refresh my memory on this little bitsy over here, wherever the hell it is. God. Yes, this one is... I... I don't seem to have a mold. And I don't know where I would get one other than around here, but... I don't know. Man, I mean, what does it say here? Place required cast? Hmm. I don't think I found one. Weird. Why would it be in, like, the high court, which is the only place I haven't been to? Oh, well... Maybe I'll find that at some point, huh? However... However... I think I probably didn't explore this place all that much. So, you know, let me just try to do... It's funny, because sometimes you could do that, but obviously not. Oh, you can! Is there a nest ahoy up here? No. What? 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 Straight up invisible wall, eh? Yeah, I... It's been a long time since I explored this place, so... Perhaps, wait... Oh, yeah, it's this guy! Horror! Yeah, so I'm on this roof now, you guys! Can I get up to that fence? Dang it. If only my... Lean forward key was... Something else. Maybe... <laughs> Oh, right, I remember where I got the last mask. It was me uh, digging up the grave. Actually, I looked it up because now that I have all of them, it's not a spoiler anymore. But okay, okay. Lady Miranda's is over there. I'm not sure why I'm pointing that out. But uh, Lady Miranda's is over there. Also, that's not where I want to go. Ugh. But, but there's locked doors there. Anyway, let's go down to the basement and get the treasure. Maybe the treasure is... A key cast. Whoa! That sounds like the kind of treasures these fools would consider to be valuable. And treasure them forever! Oh! Why are... Why are the ramps starting over here? Good lord, I keep falling off. <laughs> anyway. Right. Right, Master Killian the Forge Maker. Okay, let's put them masks where they go. Okay, this guy's iron. Oh yeah, it looks rather 90s cool, putting the, the shades on the skull. Okay, bronze. <laughs> or just sort of strange, also they're not shades at all, but hey, okay. And... Good thing this guy's coffin wasn't busted down, it's sheer luck. Ooh. Whoa. Is this water or what? No. Oh, oh good thing I'm a careful and intelligent player. <laughs> awesome, a whole new area. I love it. Gaze ye upon my treasure, but know that the cost of greed is damnation. Oh, I see. So, uh, I guess I won't take it then. Because I'm not greedy. <laughs> oh, but I'm not actually properly damned. Just sort of kind of damned. It's a damnation I can escape from with enough payment and coin, rendering this all rather, rather silly. Dang it! Okay, let's do this quick this time. Don't get caught on the rope. Dang it! Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Get, get away from the rope, man. Get away from the sunning rope. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Bonus, you stole the hidden treasure of Master Killing the Forge Maker. Damn right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, well. That's the very definition of not perfect thief double. Perfect thiefable, though. So, in fact. The codex of it, yeah. It's in the bank, vo Well, it's the courthouse for me, then. That's got to be the key to this old problem. Finally, the innocent man has not to fear. Well, I'm innocent. After all, I did say at the beginning of this video that everything was going to be family friendly. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Oh, that's all it is, huh? Somehow thought it was going to be more rooms, but of course not. Courts are only one room. And everybody sits in plain view. Well, I don't know. Never been to court, surprising as that may be. I've, uh, I've never been, you know, arrested and dragged to court, nor politely asked. It's an experience that is just going to be sorely lacking from the whole rest of my life. Unless I... Unless I wish to, uh... Oh! oh what? A wax key impression? Oh... I thought it was a mold, but do I have to put this impression in the machine? Is that, is that my whole misinterpretation? Yes, unless I want to uh, uh, excitingly answer those questions I got, like, have you ever stolen anything in real life? Because escalate all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada if I stole some sort of uh, piece of paper with uh, Robert... Downey Jr.'s signature on it, I'm sure. What? Lieutenant Austin, I too share your concerns regarding Mr. Gastrel. Some of the company he keeps is most unbecoming of a man of his station. The whole thing reeks of corruption. As you know, I intend to burn out any and all corruption within our system of law, for without a solid foundation of honesty, evil will surely prosper. If I am to achieve this goal, I will need the help of good men such as yourself. Rest assured that if I find any solid evidence of Gastrel breaking the law, you will be the first to know. Between us, we can be as the hammer and anvil and crush him neath our blows. Yours sincerely, Judge Archibald Hedgwick. Oh. Evidence. Oh. So maybe I could put it here something. Okay, well anyways, I got a, I got a wax key impression, but like why? Why the hell? Judge Archibald Hedgwick. Hedgwick. Okay. I don't know why he'd have a key impression. I just don't know, man, but I should have come in here beforehand. Maybe there's a bird's nest inside. No. Well, at least I have some idea of where I'm going. Okay. Also, it's perfectly possible that it's perfectly obvious what that wax key impression is doing there, as I do have a tendency to not know what the hell obvious things are when I play a mission. Some nice texture tiling there. Never seen nicer. Just once, coach, I want to see nicer. Wow, I referenced that. It's the only thing I know. I don't remember what name of it is or nothing, but... But hey. Oh, right, I am in the right place. Herp. Surprisingly difficult to get onto this dang ledge. Seriously, what the hell? Why am I having so much trouble with it? Jeez. Alrighty. Let's finally see what the hell this dang old mystery is. And where's the rest of the bird's nest? <laughs> a cast. Required cast. But wait a minute. No, that's not right. Molten metal wouldn't go into wax. So... What? Come on! You're gonna melt the wax? That makes no sense. Oh, well. What do I know about... <clears throat> He can't. Oh, right, right. <laughs> of course. What? Hey. <gasps> what? Oh. No. Oh. Right hand, let right, which is now probable, I guess. No problem. <laughs> awesome. Lady Miranda's key. I guess I'll find out. Why? She, like, like, is that guy her husband or what? I don't know. Seems random to me, but then again, I miss things, so... Hey, it's all making sense now. Let's head on back. So I find myself up here on the roof, eh? Just looking for bird's nests. But what ho? There are none. 
How rude! I meant to say something more extreme than rude, but like rude is the only word that managed to come out my face. Right, so, here's Lady Miranda's, and then another cut happened. And now, mysterious mystery, which has mysterious music and probably some sort of evil thing. What? Some form of harem-looking room or something? Uh, I don't know. Stereotypically? Or the drunk getting room or the yoga room? Hell, I don't know. Ooh. My mother always said that true love wasn't like in the storybooks. That it was hard work. I didn't understand how it could be as a girl. Now I know better. I think back to when Fairman and I first met in one of Kresmir's dens. He was bartering for some illegally refined scorpion venom for some experiment or other, and I was expanding my consciousness in a haze of smoke as usual. There was something about him even then. Such passion and intelligence. I was still thinking thinking about him three days later when I helped him escape those stone market heavies, the adrenaline, our heavy breathing. It felt so right, and we kissed right there in the alley, beneath the dragon's head inside. I am surely the only one he ever let beneath his cold heart exterior, surely. The trouble stemmed from his work and his connections to the underground. That bloated, corrupt prosecutor, Lurens Gastrol, was out to get him from the first, and when Ferriman finally got some leverage over him, he came after me, accused me of paganism, and dragged me into the courthouse. Ah... Well, it all makes sense now. It was a doomed effort, of course, since he had no solid evidence, and the judge threw out the case. Still, I have not felt safe since then. I smoke now only in my sanctuary, for I'm certain Gastrol would use anything he could get to get at Fairman through me. I only really feel safe in Fairman's bed. And now, to top it all, I've had no word from Fairman for nearly a week. I fear the worst. He gave me a crystal set into a beautiful necklace. Its material worth is not high, but it is magic. If the worst should happen, he said, Rub the crystal, and you will find everything I have left for you. I must do as he asks, but I am afraid I need to smoke and calm my nerves. I pray that my beloved is safe. I don't know what I would do without him now. Oh. See, normally when true love is hard and difficult and stuff, it's because your lover turns into a jerk because he went excavating. Oh, yes, I failed to notice this. <laughs> ah. How relaxing. <laughs> it's funny. Also, I'm robbing you, lady. Uh, hope you don't mind. What? Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Before I do that, <laughs> before I get stoned, let's go in the healthy door. Okay. What? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> creepy. But, uh, well, I think I'm actually going to leave that for next time. So you saw a preview of the crazy world of the black frog. Well, a frog, anyway. A hoppity frog of values, perhaps. So see you then. And bye for now, man.